of forces basically we can classify the types of forces in two category number one is called as external forces called as internal forces external forces can be normal reaction forces or friction forces whereas internal forces can be either tension compression Normal reaction and contact forces are based on Newton's third law that says that every action has equal and opposite reaction. We have a action, we have a reaction. We have a cylinder like this and this one is W. Will the normal reaction will come upward? Is this normal reaction as the name indicates is always normal. Normal means 90 degree to the plane of contact. This time the center is here. So, is this sphere in contact with this plane at this point? So, at this point, it will experience a normal reaction. As the name indicates, normal reaction is always perpendicular and will pass through center. It is normally represented by N. And if you extend this, this angle is 90. Sum of all angle is always 180. So, is this angle is always 45 then? 45 plus 45 90 and plus 90 if we have another plane here and this time the plane makes an angle of 60 degree so do you have contact at this point again wherever a plane comes in contact with the it will always experience a normal force and this normal force as the name indicate always perpendicular to plane so this time is n1 and this one is N2. Then in this case, is this angle is 30 degree. 60 plus 30, 90. 90 plus 90, 180. That is the idea about the normal reaction. It is always between the plane and the given body. And if you have a body like this, and this body is supported by the plane from this side, you get the reaction, normal reaction. Do you get normal reaction like this? Because the plane is vertical. This time the plane is horizontal. Is the reaction is like this. This time it is vertical. Is the reaction is like this. So depending upon the number of contact with the external body, the body will give normal reaction. N1, N2 and N3. Show this. We have two cylinders. Cylinder 1 and cylinder 2. And they have centers at this point A and the center at point B. Now you can see this is external surface. So you always get normal reaction at this point because in contact is contact so this one is normal reaction and is contact is normal reaction. So we have three normal reaction N1, N2 and N3. But in addition to this is this point is also in contact with the two body that we are interested. So whatever the force exerted at this point is called as contact forces. But you cannot visualize these forces till you separate these two one. So suppose you take this body and you place this body somewhere here and you separate this body from this point and you place here. Now you can visualize what happened between them. What happened is that is this body will try to push this body in this direction is this body will try to push this body in this direction therefore it will settle here at the same time is this body give equal and opposite reaction that contact force so this point is a and this point is b and if you observe this the point of contact is exactly line on the line of center of joining them. So what we can say that if this body is suppose this body is not present here is not is this body is this body is not allowing this body this one. If this body is not there is this body will come downward. But because of this body is this moment is stopped. At the same time, is this body will push to this downward. 
so that is what action and reaction so this force is called as the contact reaction and i will call this as nd or let's say n4 this is based on what action and reaction we will distinguish this what is this one is normal reaction what is this one is normal reaction what is this one is normal reaction these two body are in contact are you getting the contact forces is that true show this video so always remember the contact forces always passes through the line joining the reds. so just remember the definition if the length of member increases then it is called in tension say for example we have a spring force to this spring this way will the length will increase and if the length will increase we will say the spring in what tension this was the original spring is it correct and if you apply the force then the member is said to be in what tension that is the example of tension member so member which increases the length are something like wire cable row string belt all these member are always in tension so always show the force this way that is inward force and in mechanics only you can cut internal forces if you wish you can cut these forces if you want that is a permission granted for internal as such no permission is granted for external force so you can cut it means that you can divide this into two parts this is different body and this one is different body but this flexibility is only for internal forces not for external forces. sir if the length of member decreases if the length of member decreases then the member is said to be in compression so this is a now compression force is exactly opposite as per the definition so their sign conventions are also exactly opposite so this one is called as compression force and is it inward or is it outward now outward this one is outward diagram is a simplified representation of a particle or rigid body that is isolated from its surrounding but when you isolate then the effect of all applied forces and all the reaction must be shown on that figure sections are on this one is it a normal reaction here then do you have one normal reaction here yes one not and one normal here and if you join them then you can find out the contact reaction also so now this if we are interested in this pair only so to this pair this pair is surrounding this one is surrounding and this one is surrounding so you remove all surrounding and you just draw this figure but at the same time you always show the effect of this not by this body but by effect is that true ab wo bhi next time mein plain nahi milega lekin kya effect milega is a reaction shown similarly what this body will do will this body allow the downward movement of this or will not allow is everything surrounding to this has been removed but is the effect of this wall effect of this cylinder is shown on this this is called as free body diagram of upper cylinder now what is the free body diagram of lower cylinder so if this is the action then this one is what reaction and then we have to draw the second sphere now if i draw this second sphere is this sphere is isolated from the first one so you have to show the effect of now this wall so you can show the effect of this wall this wall is it pushing to this side whereas the bottom surface is it pushing up so is this figure is that is this cylinder is it isolated from this wall plus this floor plus this cylinder this is called as free body diagram where you can show all applied forces and reaction but your body is free from the 
rest of the world or surrounding. That is called as free body diagram. The conditions of equilibrium for concurrent force system are summation of Fx0, summation of Fy0 will translate or will never translate. Never translate. So is the body stationary? That is called as equilibrium. So body is always in which condition? Static condition. Static stationary condition. Conditions of equilibrium for non-concurrent force system are sigma fx0, sigma fy0 and one more summation of moment is zero. Because the body has a tendency to rotate in a non-concurrent system. That is why we have three conditions fx0, fy0 and moment zero. If we have this figure, all the forces are passing through these points. This one is called as concurrent and if we have the body like this where the one force will go this way, other will go this way, this will go this way, body has two tendencies, one is translate and one is rotate. It has only ability to translate. So we have to make no translation and no rotation. No translation whereas in concurrent, we purely, no question of rotation. So only question of what? Translation. And you can block the translation by making Fx0 and Fy0. <coughs> Developing the FBD. So let label this one is N1. Three. I don't know the three reactions. N1. This one is N3. This one is N2. And this one is N4. Correct? So this is the line of action. This is the line of action. This is the line of action. In addition to this, the weight will pass through center W. We can call it W1. From this, the weight will act downward. So naturally, I will provide you the weight W1 and weight W2 and ask you to find out N1, N2, N3, N4. So how many unknowns I have? 1, 2, 3, 4. But is this system is a concurrent force system? Is all the forces are passing through this point? So we can isolate this and I can use two equations for this sigma fx0 and sigma fy0. Using these two equations, can I find out n1 and can I find out n4? And using this one, again, is it also a concurrent force system? So can I use one more time sigma fx0? and sigma f i 0 and therefore can I find out remaining two unknown. So this is the use of FBD. Lamy's theorem has a certain condition. So we will make the list of condition. Number one. So condition one it is applicable to concurrent force system. Iska matlab all the forces must pass through same point. Number one. Second condition says that you can apply Lamy only when a concurrent system is consist of three forces. You, neither you can apply for two, neither you can apply for four. Only restricted to three. Now, before you apply Lamy's theorem, you have to adjust your forces. Either all the forces will be outward or all the forces will be inward. Two inward, one outward or any mixed combination is not allowed. Like this, this force, this force, and this force, is it all outward? And are they passing through same point? Is it a concurrent force system? Number is three forces and either all forces are outward. This is allowed or this one is also allowed. Here all forces are inward. So if your figure is not this, you have to make this figure and then you can use it. But you cannot use for this figure if you come across this figure, then what you do? You find here, there are two outward and one inward. So best way is that you can shift this force along the same line of action. Now does this combination becomes the three outward? So this facility always with you. If you are not getting the force like this, then you can modify and you can use it. The body must be in equilibrium. The body if you satisfy these all four conditions, 
then we can state that is according to Lamy. That is a statement. So as per the statement, if you satisfy three require for all four requirements, then force is proportional to the sign of the angle between other two forces. Maximum author use the word opposite, but you never use the word opposite. Always use the word angle between other two forces. It's very simple to understand. Suppose you have this force F1 and this angle equals to theta. So is this angle theta is the other two forces. So can we say a force F1 is proportional to sine of angle between other two forces. So when you write F1 then you have to write angle between F2 and F3. So that equal to sine. Correct? And if you have given this angle equals to beta and you want to write for F2 then what we write F2 is proportional to sine angle between F1 and F3. Angle between F1 and F3 that equals to what? Beta. And if this angle is gamma now is this gamma is between F1 and F2 so this is F3 when you write F3 proportional to of angle between other two forces which are the other two forces F1 and F2 that equal to gamma and once they are proportional can we write that this ratio is same as this ratio is same as this ratio that becomes the famous Lamy's equation F1 by sin theta equals to F2 divided by sin beta is equals to F3 divided by sin gamma is equal to certain constant that we are not interested in. If it is a full circle then is this angle is total 360? This angle is what? 360. Does it mean that theta plus beta plus gamma is it always equal to 360? So you have to check this. The sum is coming out to be 360 or not? Otherwise some error is there. Now I will go to this one. I will just give the another something like this. I will say this is theta. I will say this one is alpha. I will say this one equals to beta. Let me check out. F1. Okay. Forget about F1. Come to F2 and F3. Is it beta? So this is divided by sine beta. Then F2. Forget about F2. Come to F1, F3. Is it theta? Then F3. Forget about F3. Come to F1, F2. Is it alpha? You are very much comfortable. And why I say not opposite? Now this time you can find out, I can very well say this one is opposite, this one is opposite, this one is opposite. But this thing is simple in this case. Now tell me what is opposite now in this problem. Identify which one opposite. Now suppose this one angle is 50, 15 and this angle equal to 30. Then is the remaining angle is 360 minus 45. So is this angle is 315. Suppose this force is P, this one is Q, this one is T. This time is the opposite word fail. But is our method is full proof. Because we can very well write P divided by angle between Q and T. Is it sine 30? Q divided by angle between P and T that equal to what? Sine of 315. And finally T is it angle between P and Q that equal to what? Sine 50. So opposite word is not good word. Technically is not fit. But is the angle between other two forces are always true. So use very proper words in engineering.